This video will demonstrate the capabilities of the G-code based milling operation. With this operation you can Direct control of the machine simulation by using G-codes. Check and optimize the NC program. Convert the text of the NC from one controller to another in G-code based simulation mode. Debug your own interpreter during its creation. G-code based milling operation is located in the auxiliary group of the technological operations list. It can also be applied for index and continuous machining at four and five coordinate machining centers. All available types of modeling are supported, including additive machining, to simulate the buildup of a material layer. To form a toolpath, it is enough to follow these steps. Define the text of the NC program as a job assignment, which can be written directly in the built-in text editor or downloaded from an external file and edited, if necessary. To begin, let's rename our first operation. Let's give it the name GoTo. As an example, we can write a small test program for it. Insert the start symbol. Name. Set the rotation of the spindle clockwise at a speed of 2000 rotations per minute. Move to a point with the coordinates x0, y0, z100 at high feed rate. Let's lower along the z-axis to point 0. At a speed of 100 mm per minute, move to point x with coordinate 100. Y100. X0. Y0. Stop the spindle rotation. Raise the tool up to the Z100 point at high feed rate. Complete the program. Insert the end symbol. Save the current state of the text of the written program to a file on the local disk. Give it the name go to. Next, select the appropriate interpreter in the strategy tab. If necessary, edit the default tool properties. Press Run button. As a result, a toolpath based on the given text of the NC code will be created. Let's create a new operation based on the current one. Let's name it as Rotate. In this case, the tool parameters, the selected interpreter in the NC code for this operation, were set in accordance with the GoTo operation. We make small changes to the NC code. Set the value of the rotary axis A equal to 90 degrees. Displaying the name of the tab in bold and the asterisk symbol at the end of its name indicates the presence of unsaved changes in the file. Changes to the file used as the job assignment of the operation that are made outside the built-in text editor are not currently monitored. In this case to update the job assignment, you must reopen the modified file using one of the described here methods. The built-in text editor supports syntax highlighting of the main key constructions of the programming language of the CNC controllers. Hotkeys for cancelling and returning changes. Text navigation and working with it, such as selecting, copying, pasting, cutting, deleting, and so on. You can also undo or revert of the last change using the buttons on the job assignment tab. A full list of keyboard shortcuts for working with text is described in the corresponding section of the documentation. 
save the current state of the text of the written program to a file on the local disk. Give it the name Rotate. The text of the tab name has taken its usual form, indicating the absence of unsaved changes. The full path to the file of the NC program that is currently being worked on can be found in the tooltip for the tab name or in the built-in text editor. Let's create one more G-code-based milling operation. Give it a name Cutcom. Assign it the text of the NC program as a job assignment in interactive mode. Choose an interpreter for our last added operation. Calculate the toolpath. And run the simulation. Now let's go back to the machining tab and the built-in text editor. To the left of the text of the NC program, there is a service field for displaying auxiliary information. If the operation has not yet been calculated, the line numbering of the text in the input field is displayed. Otherwise, in addition to the numbering, the status of all nodes of the toolpath tree associated with it is displayed. The meanings of the displayed icons are similar to those used for the CL data technology commands. Thus, it is possible to unambiguously identify the frame of the NC program in which erroneous nodes of the toolpath tree exist. If in the machining tab, click on the field of the text editor opposite the line with the NC code for the calculated operation, and then switch to the simulation tab. The first suitable node of the CL data command will be highlighted, and the corresponding path section will be highlighted. Left clicking on a part of the toolpath or technological node of the CL data command in the simulation mode will highlight the first suitable line associated with it when switching to the Operation Job Assignment tab in the Machining tab. You can find additional information about this operation in the corresponding section of the documentation on our website.